It's Church back with another one, and today we're gonna be checking this out. So I just got this package in the mail, and I think these are the Grizzla side pads. There's like on these. I also got this today. The most expensive electric unicycle ever made. This is, I kid you not, a four thousand dollar electric unicycle right here, guys. So look at this thing. And the thing that makes it so expensive, guys, is um, the range on this machine. This thing can go um, basically like 130 miles on the charge. This thing is ridiculous right here. But I'm gonna see how the um, Grizzly pads look on this thing. Let's check it out. I said I wanted the orange baby, and he did, dude, he hooked it up. So I got the orange Grizzly pads in. These are so sick. Just the way they're packaged and everything is pretty smart. So these are the Grizzly pads. Check them out. Dude, I like the texture of these guys. So you can kind of get an idea of what the texture's like on these. That's awesome. This this part is a little bit harder than this part. These are epic, guys. And this is a totally unique design. Um, and I, I kind of, re I really respect that because, I mean, just the way these are these are, they don't look like any other pads out there. It's not like he, he copied any other design really. These are quite unique. And one thing that is different on it is that on the back right here you adjust this up higher than you traditionally do on the other pads. So normally like with the Clark pads and with the side pads this is a this point right here is a little bit lower. But the way these are designed to be is where this is a little bit higher back here so the braking uh, comes from this part of your foot or this part of your leg as opposed to this part right here and that really over time if you can get used to it it'll be better for just long-term riding like for instance like trail riding you know like 20 miles or so what will happen is it digging into your Achilles tendon back there over time um, that just isn't good for extended periods of trail riding yes it works a little bit better and um, for like racing and stuff like that. And that's one thing I want to be able to see. But this is why this design is like this, is because over time, if you're riding a, uh, for long periods, the braking is going to be a lot better coming from higher up instead of literally putting all that pressure on this part of your leg. Putting it up, up here a little bit more is going to spread it out and it's not going to fatigue this one point right here and cause a blister. And I think that's really a solid idea behind it. It has reflective on there, which is awesome. The more reflective, the better it be seen. And you can get these in all different colors. So you can mix match if you want to. And I think I love the way the colors are set up on these guys. They're, they're really like popping bright colors. And if you mix them up or you get like a blue one, a red one, that really looks good. But I just kind of wanted to go plain with it and rock the orange like I normally do. And also, he even sends you some Velcro with it. So, that's all. I mean, that's great, man. And it's the thick, nice Velcro. Check that out. And it's a lot of it. So, heck yeah. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate it, man. And let's see. Let's get these installed on here. And... I think I'm going to try it out on the Commander first, guys. 
I think I'm gonna try these on the commit. Oh man, these are gonna look so good on this this wheel. So Grizzly pads on the commander, man. Let's go. Um, I gotta see how the best way to do this would be. Put this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try them out like that at first, and then if I gotta adjust or anything, I, I can do that. So that's why I put the whole panel of Velcro on the side right there, so that if I want to move them around, I can, and not just try to pinpoint like a specific section and then it cut around it with like an exacto knife. You can do that if you know exactly where you want to keep them at, but I suggest doing it like this, and then you can move them around uh, as you go and dial, dial it in for different riding scenarios and really get it the way you want it but all in all I gotta go out and ride and give these a shot man because these look like they're gonna be really really unique and um, I'm interested to try them out cool I'll link them below if you enjoyed the video throw the thumbs up so this is the extreme bull commander right here with the grizzly pads on it. What's up dudes? Chooch out here on the Vigo Commander High Tour in Moab. Doing a little bit of shredding. On Slick Rock Trail. The $4,000, the most expensive unicycle in the world right here. Most expensive production electric unicycle ever made so far. Hopefully we don't see them too much more expensive than this one because this is ridiculous, bro. This thing's awesome. Look at those big old speakers in the back. Cool wheel, man. Two charging ports right up here at the top. Um, I mean, it's built like a tank. Uh, the plastic on this wheel feels more solid than any, any other uh, shell out there. So with a, a high torque wheel like this, I really wish you could get like 45 to close to 50 out of it with it still being high torque. But since this is the high torque wheel, you just get crazy acceleration. And I'll leave these linked below. And also, thanks to E-U-C-O or U-C-O for sending this wheel over right here. View is going to be coming on it guys. I have the E-U-C-O U-C-O link below now, an affiliate link from them. If y'all want to purchase a wheel via that link and get your wheel from U-C-O, you can do that. So this is the Extreme Bull Commander. This right here is a 3600 watt hour wheel and this wheel right here will go the farthest out of any wheel I've ever had and I'm, I'm probably gonna go do one of the longest rides I've ever done the only problem is it's snowing outside and I'd probably go do it if it wasn't 18 degrees and snowing so I can just sit inside and look at it right now kind of the bad thing so as soon as this snow dries up I'm gonna get this thing out there and go shred guys and go do some long range testing on this thing and probably one of the longest range rides I've ever done in my life is what I'm going to try to do on this thing. So stay tuned for that. And um, Extreme Bull Commander, Grizzly Pads. Heck yeah, man. Sweet wheel. It rides good. It's a fun wheel. I got to put some... Um, the only problem is, is these standard these standard pedals that they send these uh, Bico, or Extreme Bulls with now. They send them with anodized 
pedals, which are like nice pedals. The only thing is, they just, the spikes in them aren't grippy enough. So I'm gonna have to add grip tape to these pedals. I'm just gonna have to add it to the top and then cut out um, each individual part right here. And I think that'll be perfect. I'm gonna add this um, vicious grip tape to it that I have up there. And I think we should be good to go. Sweet wheel, man.